You're welcome back. Yesterday, Vice President Professor Yemio Shibaju was at the LCCI Presidential Policy Dialogue and touched on a number of the issues affecting the nation's economy. The Vice President said that the Mohammed Buhari's administration is determined to create an enabling environment for the ease of doing business in the country. Professor Shibaju also explains that the immediate tasks before the federal government includes the reduction of foreign exchange imbalance, fair inflation rates, increase in foreign direct investment, and the encouragement of public-private partnership. Let's listen. A lot of effort has been made to improve non-oil non revenues, including uh, bringing an additional 700,000 companies into the tax net in the past 15 months. Compared to the target of 500,000, which we set at the beginning of the year, non-oil revenue from both uh, FIRS and customs have lagged behind somewhat in projections, in, in our budget projections, partly due to seasonal factors and uh, prevalent economic conditions. But the FIRS has implemented the VAT collect for auto tracking and remittance of VAT and increased collaboration with state governments in tax collection. And in particular, this first half of the year, the FRS has achieved close to 73% of its target for the first half of the year. Customs have undertaken substantial revision of incentives, control and enforcement measures. In deepening the diversification efforts Agriculture is, of course, a key priority. The obvious gains are food security and a reduction in the financial burden and pressure on foreign exchange from the importation of food that we can produce. The main problem of the agricultural sector is twofold. One is the inability to meet domestic food requirements. This is a productivity challenge driven by an input system and farming model that is largely inefficient inadequate seeds, fertilizers, irrigation problems, crop protection. The second is an inability to export at levels required for market success and to make a real difference uh, in terms of contribution to revenues, especially foreign exchange revenues. And this is on account of an inefficient system for setting and enforcing food quality standards poor knowledge of target markets, weak inspectorate system, and poor coordination amongst relevant agencies. The government has commenced the process of resolving many of these issues, and in particular, the government is committed to ensuring self-sufficiency in, in food production and being a net exporter of certain uh, types of produce. In the area of rice, for example, wheat, sugar production, maize, beans, soya beans, millet, sorghum, fish, vegetable oils, meat, milk, fruits, and vegetables. In Kebi State, for instance, there has been a substantial increase in rice yields as part of governmental efforts in this regard. Kebi State uh, was doing about 3.5 tons per hectare, and that has gone up to about 7.5 tons per hectare. We've seen something close to about a million metric tons of production from Kebbi State alone in the, past, uh, in the past season. Similarly, milled rice capacity has been increased from 3 million tons annually to 10 million tons of paddy annually. Going forward, the Ministry of Agriculture has published uh, its roadmap, which is called the Green Alternative for Unlocking Growth in the Agricultural Sector. There are several steps that are being taken to ensure that that whole agro allied value chain is uh, given uh, due attention and in particular that we improve all of the processes for export, especially of vegetables and, uh, of vegetables and fruits. We of course realize that the private sector has been the engine of growth in any successful economy. And this is why we continue to support and encourage massive investments by private sector investors and key employers of labor, 
as demonstrated by our support for several of the major projects that are going on in the country at the moment. And, and of course, we've, many have already cited the Dangote refinery, the fertilizer plants, the 500, uh, over 500 kilometer subsea pipeline, which we hope will, uh, to a very large extent, help to solve some of the problems associated with vandalization of pipelines. The Indorama LMA petrochemical facilities, the Honeywell sorghum plant, as well as Golden Sugar and Savannah sugar projects, several other sugar projects, the uh, Dangote, Boa, and several others. Our intention with other solid minerals is to emulate what has already been achieved in turning limestone into cement. Recently, we settled uh, the very long-running Ajaukuta problems, legal problems, and all manner of other ownership problems. And uh, today we can report that Ajaukuta is back in the hands of the federal government, and we are <clears throat> and we're about to advertise for uh, private sector investment in the Ajaukuta uh, in, in the Ajaukuta factories, and. The iron ore, uh, the Itakwe iron ore mining facility, will remain for about a seven-year period in the hands of the preferred bidder, uh, and we expect that that will, uh, we expect that that synergy uh, will be one that will conduce to uh, to rapid development of our oil and steel industry. The promotion of MSMEs, in particular, by targeted low in low interest intervention funds is also an important policy measure and uh, the BOI and other and the CBN are committed and have in fact, in, have in fact committed funds to uh, MSME to S MSMEs in the country generally. I think I might just come back to that uh, before I'm through with this. A cornerstone of our economic policy is the focus on infra infrastructural investments, especially power, roads, rail, and airports, just to mention uh, a few. Just to mention a few of them, the Abuja Kaduna Standard Gauge Rail Line is now up and running, while work is underway with regard to the first leg of the Lagos Kano Railway, which will run from Lagos to Ibadan. From the, uh, from the Lagos ports, from uh, uh, the ports in Lagos to Ibadan, and the Calabar Lagos line, which will start from the Calabar end. On road rehabilitation, government has paid 70 billion to contractors who had not been paid in over two years, with over 70 construction firms benefiting. This has resulted in the recall of not less than 5,000 workers. Indeed, work has also started on sections of the Kano Katsina, Kano Maiduguri roads, the Loring Jeba, and the Lagos Ibadan roads should begin in earnest. We're all witnesses to the fact that the power situation uh, had started to improve when this administration came into office. As a matter of fact, uh, the output rose from January to May 2015 from 3,665 megahertz to as high as 5,000 megahertz in February 2016. The situation has, however, become more challenging by the spate of insecurity in the Niger Delta, impacting on the supply of gas for electricity generation. The sabotage of the Focado's export terminal alone cost the loss of 40% of gas supply to power plants. However, efforts are underway to continue to diversify sources of energy, including hydro, coal, and solar, amongst others. Recently, we signed agreements with 14 solar companies, and this is expected to add over 1,000 megahertz to the national grid. In addressing the intolerably high levels of poverty and especially youth unemployment, the federal government established the most far-reaching social intervention program yet. 
500 billion is provided in the current budget for social investments. This includes the homegrown school feeding, cash conditional cash transfers, microcredit loans to a million market women and artisans, technology training, technology training for 65,000 young people, the 500,000 teacher corps who will be trained and paid over for a period of two years. Many will be engaged in teaching. Some will be engaged in extension farm work and uh, as public health officials. And uh, we can report that as of today, current applications on the Empower website for recruiting young graduates to some of these programs have reached somewhere close to a million. The delivery model that we're using, of course, relies on private sector participation across the entire value chain. These measures which I've outlined uh, generally will be accompanied by improvements in soft infrastructure of rules and processes by removing red tape and other impediments to doing business. By this I mean that it will become easier to register businesses, to obtain land titles, clear goods from the ports, obtain business visas, and pay taxes, amongst other things. This is why the President has approved the establishment of the Presidential Council on the Ease of Doing Business. And that Presidential Council has already started to meet. We intend in the next couple of weeks to release a broad set of guidelines on what, uh, what steps will be taken and what steps will be and how quickly those steps will be implemented. We intend to draw up timelines to ensure that there is uh, adequate accountability as to what is done and how quickly this is done. We've been talking to the states at the level of the National Economic Council and at consultations with individual states to ensure that we're able to deliver on such matters as land titles and development control permits. We think that is absolutely important that in order to deliver on our ease of doing business that the states collaborate with us effectively and uh, we've received firm commitments from the states that they will work with us closely to ensure that we're able to deliver on our promises on ease of doing business. The present administration is a strong believer in public-private sector dialogue. We've scheduled periodic meetings with the private sector to ensure quality feedback and to make, policy process, to make the policy process inclusive. We will institutionalize a quarterly business briefing as a means of making permanent that policy, this policy dialogue starting the next quarter. We fully realize that our plans have to continue, that our plans have to continue uh, to, and that to, to be able to rapidly implement these plans we must ensure consistency and we must ensure that we are focused. We are firmly convinced that the Nigerian economy is resilient, that it will surely turn the corner. Our economy is robust. We have incredibly innovative and dynamic entrepreneurs. We have a vibrant market. We have the tremendous resource endowments and we have an uncontested reputation for hard work. On the part of the government, our task is clear to ensure security, fight corruption, and improve the economy and the business environment. Our immediate tasks are to achieve, one, to reduce fiscal and foreign exchange imbalances, to boost dollar liquidity, curb inflation, lower interest rates, and ensure lending to the real sector increase FDI and FPI by sustaining enabling policies, encourage PPPs, and other collaborative commercial engagements with the private sector to deepen diversification, create jobs directly and indirectly, and reduce poverty. These challenges are significant, but the opportunities to get it right are even more significant. 
for us, the, for us, focus, steadfastness, and consistency are crucial. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaje. We'll go on a break now. I'll be right back. <laughs> 